Hello everybody, welcome back to Rewind and Replay. I'm Matan. I'm Adriana. And I'm Caitlin. And we are joined once again by Albert Rabido Sarsaparilla. Uh, this is part two of our For the Honor uh, tabletop uh, du series, duo episodes, I suppose. So if you haven't seen the first one, go check that out. Um, we're picking up not quite where we left off. Adriana mentioned what we were going to do here. Yes. So just a little recap for the honor, but Quinn Vega is made up of a bunch of mini games, which players lace together to create an overarching whole story. Last time we left off, we had a bit of a conflict, a standoff. Lyra of the Stormy Fields had been kidnapped by a rogue agent of the Legion trying to take over her, her territory, the Stormy Fields, a, a rich area with resources that both sides have been fighting over. Also at the party, part of her rescue team was Asaya of Oceanica, an unaligned kingdom. Sasparilla Starka of the Rebellion and Brandel Sisyphus, the lower order commander in the Legion, whose uh, boss had done the kidnapping. So they parted ways, unhappy for the most part with each other, or at least with Brandel. <laughs> And now they are crossing paths, yes, yet again with this little mini game. Um, all right. So we're all playing together. So it says you and your chosen partner. Well, that's everyone. We're meeting each other for the first time in a long while. This is a quick scene that can lead directly into another mini game. So first, we have to decide where we're meeting together. I think because you know we had a conflict. The most neutral ground would be Oce Oceanica. Oh, she, the castle at Oceanica. My palace. Okay. My palace. My palace. Yeah. And now we get to ask when the last time we all saw each other was. So what, what in our minds has happened since the explosion and attempted kidnapping? I, I think it's been about a year. That feels okay. about right to me. Okay. Um, Sia sure. and Lyra, they were together for a bit. But they had a little bit of a breakup. Stormy. Yeah, stormy, you know, that lightning and water. Mm. Oh. Bad. And Sia is not very happy with Lyra right now. Ooh. Wow. I think one of Lyra's traits was oblivious. I think maybe she didn't know they were dating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so she's just fine. She's fine. Though. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine with Lyra, but Sia is angry. Um, After... After the events, after, you know, I, I was not, after Brandel was not looped in as to what the plan was for, for sort of taking uh, the stormy fields that Lyra lives on. Um, you know, I went back after the party, I went back and I talked to my, you know, the, the, my boss's boss and my boss's boss's boss and everybody you is. filed your complaints. I filed, I filed my complaints, <laughs> but also they, they were not. Like they had already decided on this path. Like this was what they were gonna do. And I just think that like, yes, brute force is necessary sometimes, but I think that the best route of this would have been diplomacy. And then they tried to force it and they lost and it forced Lyra, you know, over to the other side. And I think like that is, it angered me so much that I left. Like I believe Damn. in what the Legion stands for. And I, I want it back one day. I just don't. I can't deal. I can't do with deal with what it's become. Yeah. So where did you go? So You're I went. I'm an expat. I moved into Oceanica, and I now serve as an advisor to Sia. How did you win me over? Because as I remember, I was not too happy with. I your brought room. you a lot of really nice baked goods. Ooh. Okay. Oh, um, did you did you slip in after we broke up? Do you think? Did I? I'm, oh, I like that. I oh wooed. My. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Old, okay. Okay. I like that. No, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yes. Like you mentioned, though, Lyra was mad, so I think she probably would have called up Sasparilla on their magical telephones or whatever and joined yeah. up. Right. So like, yes, after we got together, you know, yes, I like that. So Sats Perilla, what we doing? Well, Lyra, <laughs> I think it's high time we paid the kingdom of Oceania yeah, that one kingdom a visit. <laughs> <laughs> to, 
<laughs> sit down and do some uh, talking. I think we're all a bit fired up right here. I think it's high time we uh, hash out some terms to get this resistance going against the Legion a bit further. High time or high time? Hi. Uh, ah. it, it cut you off a little bit, but the joke was there. Do it again. <laughs> high time or high tide? Yeah. Ah. There we go. That wasn't as funny the second time. But um, so. All right. So that's when we all last saw each other, and we're going to go around and we're going to ask each other oh, a question. Well, I should say, I haven't seen Lyra or Sasparilla probably since the party. Yeah. A year. I think I think we haven't seen Brandel either, right? Right, right. I haven't. Um, I probably haven't seen Sasparilla since the party. But mm -hmm. Lyra and I were together for a bit, and then we broke up, and then Brandel came in. Yeah. All right. So we are now in the grand throne room of o Oceanica, uh, the the watery throne, holding Sia's beautiful form, and her her group of advisors and guards surrounding her. Among them, Brandel Sisyphus. Yep. Um, so the, the troops of the resistance walk in, humble but ready for diplomatic talks. In as their leader, you see Sasparilla Starka, and following behind, you see a new lieutenant, Lyra of the Stormy Fields. Ooh, so, spicy. Yeah, now we all each, we get to ask a question. Also to set the stage here, Sia's parents are still around, and they are technically the rulers. Her dad is Poseidonica, and her mom, <laughs> her mom is... Neptorella. Yes, I love Neptorella. <laughs> so they're like in the, like the big two thrones, and then you're yeah. in like one of the smaller, however, like in the middle. Yeah, they, however, hate ruling, so mm. they leave everything up to me, and they're very like, they just want to surf and chill out, so I'm basically yeah. in charge. I, I'm a good match for you. I thrive on bureaucracy. True. So my parents aren't even there at this meeting. They said they wanted to go surfing. Yeah. And they <laughs> Man, huge SoCal vibes right now. <laughs> we parted on bad terms and I'm nervous now. That's to, for Susperla and I. Like, I... <laughs> we parted on bad terms, you know, obviously. But then I am kind of ashamed of having given up the Legion. Like, I feel like I've compromised my values and then having Sasparilla see that feels shitty to me. Well, Sasparilla is kind of seeing like Brandle for the first time in ages and seeing as you don't fly them Legion colors on you necessarily. I'm not really like feeling like, oh, ha ha, you know, I told you so Legion was bad and all that kind of stuff. Just surprised that you've uh, chose a different path for yourself. And, mm -hmm. and Sasparilla has happy. some amount of respect for that. Mm. Mm. Um, and Lyra, so I, you, I, so I like you exchange like a like a tense but like a glance. nod. Yeah, I don't. I kind of. I we make eye contact and then I kind of like look away. Um, and Lyra, I liked Lyra, but uh, you know we didn't have that much of a relationship. Yeah. So. And you're the you're my cares. new girlfriend's ex. So. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. I know it. <laughs> you know. So. <laughs> And of course, there's Seiya doing Seiya things. Like we, we haven't really interacted too much aside from the whole rescue bit, but I yeah. see that you are ruling regally as one would regally rule over a kingdom. Thank you. This is my beautiful home. I'm so glad you chose to come. I, I, I didn't quite realize you were going to bring her along. Ah, is there... Um... Uh, you, you mean uh, Lyra, Lieutenant Lyra, right here? Lieutenant Lyra. Um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Lieutenant I mean, Lyra. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it was just, I was so in love with you back then. And I wonder if I may still have that. Oh, uh, Lyra, Lady Lyra, it is a pleasure to see you again. Um, hi. Are you still as electric now as you were then? <clears throat> you actually notice more so, and you, like among like the troops brought in with her, you see a couple equally, not equally, but like also sparky people. Huh. So hmm. it seems uh, I had heard that uh, you got the the stormy fields, uh, Sasparilla. Oh, that is uh, 
Oh, that is cr oh, I didn't say, well, I wouldn't say, God, the Stormy Fields, uh, Lyra insisted on joining us for the resistance once that whole uh, ordeal at that uh, party year back uh, went down. Tell me, Lyra, have they eaten you out of house and home yet? Brendel, be kind to our guests. Of we course, my lady. do not really have much to eat. I mean, certainly not anymore. We're sto no, we're stormy. Everything is rather electrified, <laughs> dried. That's not. Mm. We're good at, you know, coal and mining. That's our export. Of course. Well, um, should we adjourn to the meeting room? Oh, let's. Uh, Y'all got any provisions on the table by any chance? If I may, uh, <laughs> I ask. No, I'm not, not really interested in selling my kingdom to you. Well, I might as well hand over my provisions. Hand slams over a <coughs> case of moonshine. Ah, of for course. For offerings. We uh, left a spot on the end table. I knew you'd bring some of your... Uh, well, well, drink would be generous. Indeed. Well, we are guests after all. <clears throat> After all. All right. So which uh, which next mini game feels most appealing to everyone for a, for a diplomatic discussion? Um, I think maybe like taking shape or venture forth or stand united would be maybe a little more applicable. Who can transform here? Lyra, you can, right? Yeah. Okay. I think Stand United sounds like the most, okay. what we're going towards, unless you had another one. I think maybe Stand United is like a step away. Like we need like something in between and then we do that one. Maybe so. Okay. I mean, maybe we could do hands to heart just sort of in a more uh, diplomatic way. way. And maybe yeah. there's some, some non-platonic stuff between Lyra and Sia, something, some charge. So to speak. It just, it's like, are you reading like the thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to touch your hair. May I? Like, <laughs> Sia is in a, in a room alone with Lyra and Brandel. What does she do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lord, okay. No, but this could work for like a, you know, like thinking of it as like a negotiation. Like, I would like your resources in. Yes. Yeah. Fish by 20%. May I have that? <laughs> we'll paint. Sure. We can paint a diplomatic. All right. We're doing, we're doing hand to heart. <laughs> so, you know, uh, Sia and I sort of sit on one end of this long table and, you know, a couple other advisors on our side and you guys have your other resistance leaders and you two on the other side. We each have our sort of our guards on each side. Uh, there is a table with provisions. Um, some baked goods I made and some drinks, including moonshine. Um, I would like to I pick eat up some of these. May I have one? I of pick course. up a raw fish and take a bite out of it and then nod my head. <sighs> so, um, you're here, we're here to discuss um, an alliance, is that correct? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I would like to sit close to Brendal, uh, if may I? A little closer to you. Sure. Oh, thank you for being so accommodating. You know, As you old... sit close to Brandall, I scoot closer to Brandall and kind of <laughs> uh, like put my hand like near yeah. him. May yeah. I? Okay. Why well, do you want sure. to sit close to us? There's plenty of room right here. And I'm sitting opposite of them. Yeah, <laughs> oblivious. You have no idea. You're yeah, not, like you're the three of you are like slowly like scooting closer to Brandel and I'm just like. <laughs> well, Brandel and Sia, my lady. Yes, uh, the resistance would uh, very much like to uh, partake in traversing your territory to fulfill our obligations in order to make the resistance uh, uh, fruitful. Open borders. Indeed. That is all we simply ask. That's all we simply ask for. What would you need for my kingdom? Just open borders so we can traverse freely without any complications. 
This is just an open agreement to realize between the resistance would that and- not, Would that not cause the, uh, what's the other side called? The, the, the Legion, Legion to dislike my kingdom because they see you openly coming in and out and me trading it with would. you? It would. It's a... Well, it if you removes like our open... status of neutrality, my lady. Well, exactly. if you would like to open borders to the Legion, then so be it. I'm but... not opening borders to the Legion. I'm saying I want to stay neutral. Then so by all why means, should you I either stay borders? neutral by letting both sides in or, you know, not letting you on else in, I guess. I don't know. But uh, again, all we're asking is just on, on friendly terms. Just let us go. Lyra, do you want to help out here? <laughs> this, old, uh, this old Sasperla is, is losing it. <laughs> I think he means that you have been letting neither party in, mm-hmm. but perhaps you could be persuaded to let in both and therefore stay neutral. I think if and level- if we happen to keep them out on our end. That would not be your fault. Randall, what were you going to say? If I worry that if we let everybody in, to Yoshi, both sides of Oceanica, uh, we become a battleground. Now, what do you have to offer us in exchange for open borders? Aside from more moonshine? <laughs> Oh, I could scarcely turn that down. I know! It's great! Well, the Legion has been slowly capturing city by city by city. We would be defense. They've left us alone until now. Why do you think they would suddenly turn? You have something, someone, and Lyra looks at Brandel. They may want. Valuable assets, you see. Valuable assets of the within the Oceanic uh, territory. I'm going to reach Brandle, through a portal you... and grab a donut. Like uh, the table like over there. But I'm just going to. This is great. Brandel, do you believe you are this valuable to the Legion that they would want to capture my kingdom to take you back? The Legion likes to protect its secrets. <clears throat> but I figure if they were going to come for me, they probably already would have. Didn't stop them from getting L- uh, Lyra uh, last year. Now, oh. is, is you, you mentioned these secrets. Are there secrets about the Legion that we don't know that you do? Uh, there are. Uh, though I keep very little from you, Sia, my dear. Uh, there are things that, I'm, that I know I, that I am sure the Resistance would like to know. And Hmm. Well, clearly they must not be valuable secrets if the Legion's not really pressing towards getting you back. Or maybe they think they can win you back and get secrets about Oceanica. Yeah, Brando, you could be a spy, actually. A sleeper agent of sorts. If I was a spy, I would have joined up with your gang of farmers, Sarsaparilla. No, this is a whole mind game we're talking about here. (laughs) This is a whole meta battleground. Listen, I have uh, a, an idea, the beginnings of a proposal. Not only would we grant you open borders, but in fact, I would share many of the Legion secrets with you. It's only been a year. I still know their approximate battle plan. And in fact, I happen to know that they know where your base of operations is. Really? Yes. You want to propose what that might be? Yes, it's in Umbertown. Umbertown. <laughs> Umbertown. Yep. Yes. You do know, huh? Umbertown. That was supposed to be a, one of the most oldest and secret strongholds of our base of operations. We have they hadn't struck, stricken it yet because of its impressive defenses. They haven't found a way through. Now listen. We may allow you open borders, and I will give you my secrets about uh, the tactics of the Legion. But in exchange, uh, there are some specific uh, high-risk missions that I will require you send your resistance agents in on. I think if we can take out a few major players in the Legion, uh, it may be ripe for the picking. Are you 
you sending our resistance folks to assassinate some commandos? Is that what you're insinuating? Perhaps. Yeah. If these terms seem agreeable. You mean you would want to take them over? Of course. You know what? That sounds fair to me. I don't know, Lyra. You got any second thoughts? Better the enemy we know than the enemy we hate. <laughs> that was almost wise. Now, Brandel here can't fully speak for me. He said he offers up my kingdom when I have not agreed. Of course, I cannot make any final decisions, my yes. lady. I, I don't mean to impose. Yes, I, however, have not been a fan of the way the Legion has been conducting themselves as of the kidnapping last year and the other atrocities I have seen. So I, I may be open to this. I also would like to add on one more. Um, contingency. I, my town has been struggling with fire recently. <laughs> we, you know, we're a town of water. We love water. We can't seem to keep our fires growing. So I ask that you help us deliver us fire. <laughs> we shall send Prometheus. Do you not think, Sasper? <laughs> yes, I, I think of the mighty lieutenant. Team. Lieutenant Prometheus. Lieutenant Prometheus, yes, he's quite a knowledgeable uh, individual in that one, too. By the gods, it'd be a shame if he got chained up and uh, picked, out, picked around for his knowledgeable assets as well. The fire making. All right. <clears throat> Great knowledge, indeed, and it would be we're, a shame. We're fighting if against <laughs> We're fighting an intergalactic empire, and, and, and Sia's like, Fire, what's up with that? Like, does anybody know about this? It's all Greek now. It would be a shame if Randall was captured and forced to push a rock up a hill. That's the, yeah, that's the punishment for traitor, for being a traitor. Yeah, I better not. Push really... a rock up a hill for the rest of eternity. Yeah, you just, you just keep going and you never, you think you're going to get up there and oh. it rolls right back down. But if, but if Sissy first. I'm sorry if Sir Sifi Sisyphus and <laughs> Captain Prometheus work together. We shall be all right. This sounds like a fair trade. It's pretty similar to what happened to my buddy Tantalus, though I'll spare you the details. <laughs> uh, You're very tantalizing. Yeah, <laughs> quite. You don't know the half of it. Um, oh. So, oh. Um, something I just thought of. As long as you have. Uh, an alliance with the resistance. Lucianica will be quite unassailable. I mean, we can just electrocute anyone who tries to come through the water. Oh, this is quite good news, especially because mm. we're on the ocean. <laughs> yes. And yeah, that, I mean, that, no one can get to us. Well, I mean, I suppose the, the, the flying ship's probably good, <laughs> right? <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but but I digress, please. Are these do these terms seem amenable? I agree to these terms. Sasparilla? I shall agree to this parlay. Hmm. Yes. Shake on it. Hmm. We shake. <clears throat> we shake. We shake. So <laughs> Lyra, do you approve? I am not in charge. Yeah, I don't think Lyra gets to say in You're this. right, you're right. Do you, um, Brandel? <laughs> of course I do. As my partner here, Brandel, of course, gets to say in this. Yeah. That's what you and would I do put my arm around her. partner if you were dating the same. Oh, say, uh, you were dating. Was, was she always, say, uh, Sia, was she always this yeah. slow? <laughs> That's why I broke up with her. <laughs> You broke up with me. Uh, um, uh, well, I think we should cease this we conversation for the moment. That uh, night? We mean... spent under the stars? I remember the stars. All you would talk about was the stars. The star, that star, that star there, that planet there. I yeah, I wouldn't want to jeopardize more. our uh, new agreement. <laughs> so, You're right, Lyra's not worth it. That's why I have you now, Brandel. You know what is worth it? So you're not dating both of us? Oh, what? No, Lyra. 
You, uh, you only ever talk about the stars. You didn't care about the star that was right in front of you. <gasps> Me. You're a star? Of course I'm a star. You I really, did not uh, know this. You really run with Can the best I... and brightest, Asperilla. <sighs> May I inspect your form for starlight? Uh, I hold issue with that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I mean, I... If you had inspected me that night, I may not have been close oh, to it. Oh, That's the problem. You didn't want to. You wanted to, to inspect Polaris. You did not tell me you were a star. You should have known. You should have known when I caused that wave to come and hit you and take you away. Hey, Sasparilla, I'll uh, show. I'll show you. I'll show your whole group to their um. Uh, yes, before we start inspecting and dissecting each other, let's yes. do so. Um, I'll show you. Show you off, uh, and we can uh, continue this discussion in the morning. <laughs> I like to think they keep discussing and just like in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, with that wrapped up, I think we should do a taking shape, perhaps. And maybe Lyra is one of the squadron uh, heading in to take out some high-ranking legionnaire. Or maybe it's after that and you're coming back or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I think taking shape is like a middle thing in a different mini game. Question mark? Um, before it, right after. Well, this can happen in the middle of another game yeah. or at the start of your turn before you pick another game. Okay, yeah, that's true. So I mean, so, so we if, could do like all out battles, like our attack. We could do, there's like stand united. That's like we plan the battle and then all out battle is the battle. Okay. Yeah. And there's also, uh, what is it? The blade, blade to, to save. save. Yeah. Um, we could do Blade to Save. Well, let's see. We let's look at what's doing act like an assassination. Ooh, we could do so. Blade All to battle? Save. Something happens that we know that the Legion's going to come attack us. Then we have to plan to stop the Legion, and then the battle is against the Legion. Okay. So Stand United is the prep, and then All Out Battle? Well, I was saying like Blade to Save. Something oh, that's... happens. That's how we. Like know. someone comes to kidnap Brandel, okay. and that's yeah. Blade to Save. Yes, I love it. Another kidnapping, that damn okay. legion. Okay, so let's say, okay. All right, so we're doing Blade to Stave. Somebody has shown up, or some group has shown up to take me, probably the legion, and it's probably they decided to move because they finally saw that the resistance came on to our, yeah. staying on our land. Oh, you know what? Blade to Save, I think, is player versus player. JK. Oh, uh, well, okay. Is there anything that can fit for, like... <laughs> What we it's want to do. probably the battle one. Yeah, or so I stand united. We've reached a point where all of us are allied against a common foe. Yeah, we could. Yeah, I'm I mean, down. Uh, we pretty much. Yeah, we could just skip negotiated. to that. And then, I mean, can we do? Uh, yeah, but I mean, we can okay. do things in the middle. Yes, you're right. Yeah, well, the the only problem with this is like Sia's not gonna attack. The legion straight out she's very she's still kind of neutral i mean she is helping right you guys the resistance but she's not gonna go for an odd attack against legion she'd have to have something like attack her okay what her. if the legion finally mounts an assault again now that they see yeah. that the resistance is here okay i mean all right well, unless or we can do it like i don't know um we just have to know they're coming but we could like some scout comes okay. and tells us that they're Coming. what about this we skip th you guys have we've you guys it's another you know smaller time skip you've done made a lot of you've done some of these assassinations i think there's only one or two you know two head honchos left we're ready to take out to take them out and mount an assault against the legion so i can the take last it. battle tm yeah let's do it okay i can deal with that yeah cool so do we want to do then stand you because this I feel like I mean I don't want to speak for you Sia but like I feel like this is like a final like the last you, battle Goodbye, you stayed Legion. out of it until then you've helped the resistance you haven't fought and like this is like the final yeah. thing to finally free uh, we it's to the point where we're basically gonna win so I'm right. in because I know the victory is for sure okay coward 
Um, so do we want to do yeah, all out stand battle United. or stand united? Okay. Stand united. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And then you should start. So, at, um. You start, you, Matan, start, yeah. take turns around the group, going left on your turn, choose another character and give them a challenge to answer. Go around the group at least once, or you can go around up to three times. Okay. You can start so, with one of the challenges. Okay, so let's say, you know, they have ships, but they've got like some sort of land base. In their fleet. In, in some mountain range. <laughs> um, and we, you know, approach under cover of night uh, and we arrive. Um, there is a, okay, how about this? Uh, there is a watchtower to the east and I move to take it out. However, I am spotted and showered with suppressing fire. And who am I gonna ask if they can shield me from harm? I guess I'll ask Sia. Can you shield me from harm and how? Yeah, I'm gonna take a big wave of water and just like put it in front of you. Some mountain river or something, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And now, see his turn. But the jig awesome. is up. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So as I'm doing that, someone notices my weakness, like me, you know, helping you, and they realize my opening. And so behind me, they cause a tower to collapse, and it's coming down. And Lyra, you are the only one who can save me. Uh. Save me and push me out of the way unscathed. I will activate my transformation, which is the other mini game that okay. we're gonna do then i guess yeah let's um, do it yeah 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 taking shape play this when your character needs to transform it can happen in the middle of another game or at the start of your turn before you pick another game this is in the middle first say the magic phrase that starts your transformation and then describe your starting pose so sia um is getting she's about to be crushed by a tower um and from like the other side of the battlefield you just hear a crack of thunder and the like vague shape of lightning flash towards you. And you hear um for the stars. And it's like the Superman pose. <sighs> um, <laughs> um, and then next going around the table, everyone will ask you up to two questions from the list below. Once everyone has asked at least one question, you can describe your final stance. And then we can continue with the plot of the Stand United. Okay. So what exactly do you look like or when you transform? She no longer looks like a person, but instead like, um, God, what's the, like an elemental, you know, like in D&D, &D, like a water elemental, but like made of lightning. Oh, yeah, lightning elemental, nice. Um, how do your abilities change? They get better and physically stronger. <laughs> Die. Super strength plus better lightning. Um, do you have a face that can pull off expressions as an elemental looking figure? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, I think you can like make out like arms, legs, head, shoulder, you know, like yeah. the shape. But no hard hitting details. We're looking at PS1 graphics right there. The PS1 yeah. graphics. No, yeah. it's like it's like constantly like moving light. Uh, like, yeah. Um, sure. Uh, how do your abilities affect the sequence? Like, what do you do to, to save Sia? What do I do to save Sia? So as she's dying, and that's why she's silent, um, as she's about to go to crush, um, with my super strength and my super lightning, I aim it at the, at the tower, and it kind of acts like a fireball, and, like, it starts like it hits the center and it makes it go that way into shrapnel instead of directly on her. Cool. So she might be injured, but not dead. Okay. What is, uh, okay. All right. Then I think, do we need, are we good on questions? Um, yeah. Asked, uh, asked yes. At least one question. Yeah. yeah. Can you describe your final stance. My final stance. So it'll be like a, like the lightning gets like pulses and gets bigger and bigger and then it just like becomes like a wall in front of Sia so that she doesn't get hurt. Nice. And the tower finishes collapsing and I'm back to normal. Hmm. Um, and then I'm, for my challenge move, 
to sass Perilla. It's time for you to enact that ridiculous plan you've been plotting for weeks. What is it? How do I help you? Do I withstand its danger? So now we've gotten past a tower wall in the base of the Legion. What is your ridiculous plan? Now, I would presume that there is a bunch of Legionnaires all around. So what I do is that I grab from my nifty bag of Holdens a bunch of bottles of uh, mystery fluids and whatnot, and I'm going to toss them into the air and tell Lyra to do the thing that we've been talking about as I toss these bottles over to Legion. So as I, so you say, do the thing. <laughs> Lyra, yeah, do, the, do thing. the thing. Do the thing. Do the lightning thing on these bottles. Pew, pew. And uh, as they, like, reach their targets, you see, like, speed of light, fast lightning just explodes them from afar. And all across the battlefield is just a starry haze of mist and dew. That's getting us fire. drunk just smelling it. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> Pretty much as it falls onto actually just about everyone onto the field because gas has no container, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess my next challenge will be onto Brandel now that this kind of mist has kind of formed over the battlefield and everyone's kind of getting a bit woozy what are you going to be able to do to counteract the drowsiness of this all mm, um so i am i am ready to finish th- like to like push to, to just deal with this and be done so i am already hurrying on out of the cloud you know like imagine we're on a hill like i'm continuing uphill to the main base like i'm i am getting drowsy but I'm. how do you I'm, get how do you get your army that's stuck behind the cloud there mm. with you? Okay. Um, I will make a big portal for people to come through. Put one on where they are, you know, sort of where the largest group of people is, and then one on the, up further up the hill. Be like, let's get a move on. Let's go. I'm thinking like the Thor star <sighs> thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I'm like, yeah, opening two portals for people to get get up there. Yeah, so everyone so, makes it past the fog. Yeah. The fog of war. I let, okay, I guess I will choose this one for um, Sasparilla, I think. Um, you, uh, you let your passions get the best of you and be get. Oh no, I say I say it for me and then I ask him. So I let my passion yeah. get the best of me and begin violently attacking my surroundings with little regard for collateral damage. Can you calm my fury? How? Like I'm getting sort of bloodlusted. Like, I mean, not like cruel, but basically just sort of like blasting through people just on a war path to the main tower. All right. Well, Lateral it's... damage happens. Yeah. Collateral damage is happening. So I think Sasparilla is going to try doing two things. One, uh, for our folks that are getting in the way of the cloud roll, he's going to use his plant magic to make some thick vines as like a little bit of a shielding to make sure that whatever uh, slashing that Brandel does it doesn't go too deeply into our fellow comrades. And for the second part, I'm going to also use my plant magic to um, pretty much uh, conjure up some devil's lettuce to mm-hmm. hopefully feed into You pass Randall. me a fucking blunt? <laughs> <laughs> you're not you when you're that angry. Here, have some <laughs> devil's lettuce. Uh, a good friend, Brandel, calms your nerves in the heat of bloodlust. I don't need, I don't need something to calm me. I, we need to finish this. Well, we ain't going to fish much if you keep on fishing us all. Then I kind of look back and I see I see what I've done. I take, I just I grab it. I take a like a really like a re, like I also like don't know how to hold it. I like hold it like this and I like take a really big uh, uh, rip and just <laughs> I hand it back to him. Oh, and I continue stuff. on a little slower. <laughs> well, see, uh, I got a challenge for you. Now, as we're, as Sasparilla and Brando are like popping it out uh, for the field, um, some legionnaires are slowly hobbling their way over to kind of interrupt this uh, little blaze session. 
what would your pros do to either slow or stop this upcoming obstacle? The Legionnaires. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm, I will first yell at you both. You're like, guys, stop smoking. There's there's people coming. The Legion's coming at you. And then I will hop in front of both of you, take out my sword, and start fighting them. Bro, it's Puff Puff Pass. Stop hogging it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you step in. You step in and, and protect yeah. us. However, nice. as I'm doing that, I'm captured by nets and slings, and I'm brought to my knees. Brandel, do you cut the ties that bind me? And how? Yes, I do. I have... I have an opening, right? So like a lot of people sort of, they've seen how fucking, oh, powerful you are, Sia. And so you're getting focused a little bit. You get caught in these nets, people are coming to charge you and they're focused on you. And I have an opening to get to the tower. And I sort of take a second and then I decide to cut you out and help you out with the knife. I cut you out and I tell, sort of teleport us, not far, just like a little bit, like you get a portal just a little bit away, like behind a rock or something. Nice. <sighs> And then um, somebody want to do into Lyra? I think I think you should. So as yeah, I'll do into Lyra. as you take a couple minutes, you like something bad happens, right? Like instead of yeah. fighting, you are rescuing. As a result, I don't know. Yeah. Think of some. So then I I mean, so what bad is happening? Like they're you get to pick. I don't know. I so I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, they. Um, I am overwhelmed. So, okay, it says I am overwhelmed by blows, but I'm just going to say, like, I am overwhelmed in general, like, by the war. Like, I was mostly, uh, I mean, I, I had to do some fighting, but I was most, like, I my grandpa was a higher up. I got to start pretty high, and I mostly do sort of tactics and, like, management and planning. And so I'm not used to battle. And on top of that, like I'm divided, like these were, you know, my soldiers, these people that we're killing now, but now I'm, you know, I, I do love Sia and I'm allied to her and her people. As so you're I, stabbing I, people, you're like, sorry, John. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh sorry. Daniel. Sorry, dude. Oof. You know, I was on a warp. I was kind of determined before, but like, I've, I've been overwhelmed. I'm losing my resolve. Um, Lyra, can you help me? Yeah, so Lyra's going to see you struggling and with her super strength, she's going to go in and take them out for you and then she's going to turn you she's gonna turn you around to face her like you dead in the eye and be like, this is not the time for doubt. You must focus. This is what you want. She is what you want. Be the man who helped rescue me. And you got to slap. Okay. 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 Um, so. I think now we can pick an ending, don't you? Yeah, yeah on this part. Yeah. We, we hack think... and slash our way to the top. Oh. You know what? I have an idea, actually. Why don't we try a, can I do, uh, no, I think you're right. I was going to say, can I do a blade to stave with the final, sort of the final boss? Who or somebody wants else. To be your fin- if someone wants to be your final boss, it turns out Southport has been in charge of the whole operation. It's, it's a, he's playing both sides, so yeah. he always wins. <laughs> Play all sides. He's coming on top. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine? He's the one that hired. The- it's <laughs> the most. He's he's a, just a, a greedy capitalist. Yeah. Like war is the most profitable industry. Um, <laughs> So okay, maybe I won't do a blade to stave. Maybe I'll just do. We can just go on to an end. You can do of... a. You could do a hand to heart. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Like, and or like convince the big bad evil guy. Yeah, yeah. M- seduce him. That's my final role. <laughs> could I put my hand on your leg? M- may I? <laughs> may I? <laughs> um. Um. Okay. Oh, you may not. Pulls dagger. <laughs> I stab you, may I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's see. So, which ending should we choose? I kind of think one of the one of the last two. What do mm. you guys think? I think we barely scrape out a victory. Okay. I kind of like that. So this. Okay. So I'm imagining we get to 
sort of we get to the tower, the sort of the main the main hub, and we you know blast our way in. Most of the guard it's not super well guarded now because a lot of them came out to fight us. Mm-hmm. There's still but some. neither are we. True, yeah. we've lost a lot of people. Most, yeah, most um, are out for the count. Yeah, we've we finally bust through, you know, into the 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 sort of not operating room, but like the the HQ, sort of the main tactical room. I enter a code in the door and it gets us in and there are two guards there and we take them out. And I say, grandfather, it's time for this farce to end. Grandfather? What? He turns what? around. Um, and it's just, you know, a, a fit old guy, you know, he's old, but you know, he's pretty spry. Um, he's Asperilla. <laughs> He needs Sarsaparilla's twin brother. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. Um, Sarsaparilla. <laughs> um, they say, brother. <laughs> this, the war is over. The war is over. You've lost. Surrender, and we'll let you go. Is that actually your oh, grandfather? No. What? Yes, I wanted to. Um, I didn't want him to die if he didn't have to. So, grandfather, will you come peacefully? No. <laughs> Grandpa, come on. <laughs> Grandpa, in front of my girlfriend right now? Grandpa, really? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're and I imagine play. he just draws his sword and gets ready to like take on all four of us. Yeah. <sighs> um. So we fight, and this is sort of we're not gonna do a whole blade to stave, but this is the final thing. I imagine your grandpa's like super OP. Yeah, yeah, he's a final yeah. boss. Like he flexes, and then all his clothes pop off, and, he's <laughs> and he has huge. nine lives, and he has yeah. nine lives. And twelve health bars, <laughs> and yeah. um, and he keeps using to full- water and electricity, right? And he keeps using full heels. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know what's gonna stop him? The, the power of friendship. <laughs> no, oh. the power of the devil's lettuce. Sasparilla oh. hands over of blood over to the grandpa. Hey, grandpa, try me. this gange. <laughs> go on, go. Sorry, go on. <laughs> Take a hit. Go <laughs> hit you when you're mad. <laughs> And as you distract him, I come up behind and stab him right in the back. And I place a hand on him and electrocute him. Grandfather, no. And in his weakness, his weakened state, the electricity works. And And I cover him in water because water makes electricity worse. And Brandle delivers the last blow. Brandle, how do you doing? What is the cause? His emotional toll. I, I see this happening and I see how it has to go. He's strong still. Like he is, yeah. you guys are doing a lot of damage to him, we've but he's changed, like trying to Than- fight again. Thanos, like we've changed yes. that. Yes. You gotta, gotta go I, for the head. This is the final blow. And this is my moment. Like I can shoot, you know, all, all of my opposition is gone, right? Like my grandfather and I, like we could, we could rule together. And you see your friends tired your girlfriend, your girlfriend using the last of her strength run him through and i run him through <gasps> through the heart oh grandpapa and i touch you know i touch his face you know as the electricity fades and and it's all and he's like brandel how could you <laughs> <laughs> grandpa i hate that joke like it stop <laughs> no no just I run it, you know, and I say, no, I don't say anything. I just sort of stare him in that touch him as he, you know, because he he raised me, he brought me up, he got me to where I was. In some ways, you know, I wouldn't be here at all if it weren't for him. So I. But he made too many mistakes, and now it is time for a better order to take over the realm. And I'll take Ooh. his. You know, he. I'll take the the pin, sort of the the 
insignias off of him, sort of the thing that denotes him as the leader, and I'll put them on. I pin them to my to my whatever what sort whatever sort of jacket I'm wearing, some sort of oceanica, you know, sea green, sea foam green jacket, and I and I walk out like you know, yes, this was the right thing to do, but was it worth the cost? How did this end up still a story about the white man? What happened? True. What did I, kinda, I didn't, I, pl I played my cards too close to the chest. <laughs> they were trying to see, <laughs> and then see I'm wearing Oceanica's uh, clothes. I've, I've appropriated them. Oh my God. <laughs> <It's on. laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, replacing the old guard with the new guard <laughs> yeah we the cycle never runs oh no <laughs> yeah like yeah sure I put my you know sure Brandle puts his pronouns in his bio but also he <laughs> you know still like you know doesn't let the the, <laughs> uh, the proletariat you know own the means of production <laughs> like um but anyway, so I think, so, okay. So we walk out like heavy casualties, but we won. Heroes now, but maybe enemies later, mm. depending on Brantle's rule. True. For now, you know, I call everybody off, all the survivors, and I tell them to return to the ship, return to their quarters. I let them know that I'm in charge now. But for now, I return with Sia back to our bed in Oceanica, and I just lay there for a long time. I think uh, in the middle of the night, Lyra and Sarsaparilla knock on your door. We no. brought food and booze. Yes, who? Randall, wake up, look what they brought. And I go and open the door. Mmm, there's like light coming in. <laughs> <sighs> Yummy, come on in. Let's have a little party. We can celebrate our victory. And Brandel's new leadership. I take my cloak off um, and I, I put the part with the stars over Brandel's head. And then I pat his head. I think Sasper's also going to try to pat his head, but as short as he is, he's just going to like tap on his leg or shoulder, I mm. guess. Mm. Or or some of the sorts. I'm trying to accompany Vine's awkward. Tell um, me this. Station. He, Sasparilla. Didn't, he didn't like the light, right? <laughs> Sasparilla. Yeah, I'm still speaking her. from under the cloak. <laughs> you just don't remember. Really it. <laughs> You're under a cloak together. With everyone and everything that it that it took to win this war, was it worth it? be honest you never really know in the, in the moment like now in the present all i can really hope for is that it will affect the future in the way that you hope to hope the outcome in the future is what's worth it we act what we do today in hopes for making sure that the people of tomorrow have the means of doing being able to do what they need to be doing but we can't really know until we lived through that day brandall Hmm. Pass That's me a donut. Wisdom right there. Ah, yeah. Just a donut or uh And some like... moonshine sarsaparilla. Oh no, that's that's the spirit. <laughs> Here you go. I'll take some of that moonshine too. Here, have an entire bottle, the lady. Thank you. <sighs> so Brandel, what's what's the plan now? I I still believe in what the Legion used to be. I, th I think uh, we connected many planets. We solved many crises. Some people have too much and some people not enough. And the Legion was an answer for that. But I've seen now what we do to the places we think we're helping. I... Yeah, you can't just 
You guys just take <laughs> over someone's like kingdom. They don't like that. <laughs> but hey, like your kid with Sia would be like the next ruler of Oceanica. So like that's improvement, you know, diplomacy and lines and stuff. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe I need to, well, I guess the next question is do we, what becomes of the Legion? I think maybe we need to spend some time on doing everything that we've done. Mm -hmm. Starting here, I think. I think so. Hmm. Starting tomorrow. And I kind of flop back down. had a nice party. <laughs> our moonshine and, you know, had a good night's rest. Then we can start. Hmm. <laughs> Is she already asleep? I go and like poke your nose, Lyra. Lightning pokes you back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. So, Sprilla, what's next for you? Well, to be to be honest, I had been on this path of resistance for over fifty years. Doesn't get easier with age, I'm afraid. Hmm. You know what I was, you know what I said about how we think about the future? Think about the people tomorrow. I think my actions during those years have already settled. And I think it's high time that I let the next leaders of tomorrow step in to continue this path of freedom mm -hmm. and opportunity. So I think. As of this, as of tomorrow, I think I will be stepping down from my position as a leader of the resistance and make my mm. way, make a simple living in the world as a simple farmer. And I think it'll be high time to offer that point of leadership to Lyra to take my position in leading the resistance towards that ideal future for the good of all in this world. Mm. Well, I have brought... You always have a home here. Mm. Oh, much obliged. <laughs> I think, as of now, I think being, uh, I think just wandering the world, being able to do my own devices, getting that own sense of personal freedom, that's the best life anyone could ask for. Honestly, mm -hmm. I should be retreating to the wild, I guess, to do so. Best of luck, sir. Best of luck. Much obliged. You are all admirable folk, and I wish you all the best in your endeavors as well. Mm. Once I make my way tomorrow morning. And I guess that's the story. That's it. Wow. Wow, we got some. Uh... I almost did the, the Anakin quote from Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. <laughs> um, but I think it didn't fit the tone. Nah. It was a uh, new empire. <laughs> hey, yeah. From my uh, point of view, the resistance is evil. <laughs> Only a legionnaire deals in absolutes. <laughs> Now they're the same. Now they're yeah. the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just fun. Yeah. I like, no, like it was an all-around fun time to you know do what we do. I think it was a little darker than Shira. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it? the energy well, is still there. Albert brings up a good point, though. Even though Albert has, hasn't seen the show, Albert, close your ears. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. because Shira, Shira spoilers, Shira spoilers. Because they have mind control, dude. Okay, that was like infinitely yeah. more fucked up, I think, than what we yeah. did. Like we killed two dudes and we had like a war, but well, we didn't even like 
I mean, I guess us as players killed one. Our characters right. didn't kill the other one. Us as narrative makers. Yes, yes us as narrators. Killed like people we... and caused a war, but that was already happening in She-Ra. We didn't yeah. add mind control. True. <laughs> or space aliens. Yeah. With a hive mind. So, I yeah. don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, being a, like a space imperialist is kind of weird. Yeah. It is. But... It was interesting. I like I liked Brandel Sisyphus, schmoozer extraordinaire. Yeah, I love that him and Sia ended up together. Yeah, wasn't unexpected, but I like it. Lighting yeah. into that whole romantic scenario. Yeah, only oh, ended a year later. Yeah, but Lyra's like permanently like attached to the two of you, though. <laughs> oh. you know, like romantically or not, it's like, yep. oh you yeah. Know. You're Sia follower. and Brandel yeah. and Lyra. <laughs> yeah. And Lyra. Yeah. She's the Peggy of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, except she's I think I think Sia is the Peggy of them because now she's in charge of the rebellion. Wow. Uh, so there's a that was a Hamilton reference. Um, <laughs> um well then I think that just about does it for this episode, for this game. This yeah. melancholic oh. ending. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bittersweet. I think. Yeah. It's more sweet than bitter, but you know, mm-hmm. notes of both. Um, I. We have other new content coming down the pipeline. It's very exciting. We do this. Uh, we do tabletop content twice a month. Is that what we're aiming bi-weekly. for? Bi-weekly. Yes. So. Bi-weekly. Like. Well, bi-weekly is. It? Sorry. Bisexuals. Well, but bi-weekly, not as in twice a week, but as in once every two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, yeah, that's what it means. Yeah, that is bi-weekly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just once every two weeks. <laughs> Sometimes the people, are, it's confusing, but, uh, so we have a lot of other cool games that we're trying out, other indie, you know, tabletop RPGs yeah. like this. Watch, um, um Al- not Albert, God. Well, all of us actually at some point shove ice in our mouths with the big brain uh, freeze if you want to watch us suffer mm-hmm. our comedy trivia show. Yeah, yeah, that's that's sort of the thing I'm most excited about of our new stuff. I really, yes. I think that just is great. Um, and what else? We put out our podcast every Friday wherever you get podcasts or on YouTube as well with a video element. Um, Watch us all on Twitch. We've been streaming, you know, I've been trying to get more regular with my streaming uh, and all four of us stream as well as we have, we have a, a shared Twitch channel, all of which are in the uh, description below. Um, if you like this and you want to help us make more content like this, you can support us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash rewind underscore replay. That's also in the description. Patreon. And go support Albert on his own Twitch, on our channel. Check out all the other amazing stuff we've done with him, we are doing with him. And stay tuned for more stuff. Yes. Yeah. I do video essays, by the way. If that's something that interests y'all, I do video essays on horror and like film and video games. We're trying yep. to do a synthesis of both. If that's You're very good. Yeah, you. very good. You'll check them out. Thanks. I'll eventually do another one. Eventually. Another. Eventually. Yeah. When, you, when you freed up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, with that, we will catch you next time. Bye. See ya.